Welcome, folks. Thanks to uh, Compliance Training Panel, and, and uh, we're going to spend about an hour, maybe an hour and 15, 20 minutes today um, going over some of these, uh, you know, some hard number kind of approaches, right, uh, um, that are required in validation. Everybody's got to do a preventive control plan. Nowadays, you have to validate it. You don't validate it with normal uh, food safety audits. Those are, uh, those are subjective types of audits. Validation basically requires you know, hard data, some objective data that you get from sampling. Okay, so we're going to look at some of that kind of approach today. All right, so let's go through some basic concepts. And then I'm going to show you a, a, a way of dealing with a lot of this called the solution tracking sheet. And then we're going to talk about some SPC. We're going to also, so what we're going to do today, we're going to plan for validation. We're going to conduct studies, report results, and then we're going to get teams involved. We're going to build teams to do all this kind of stuff. That's not part of the FDA requirements, right? So we have to, so this is, this is, you know, the FDA likes to see this. They're talking about a risk-based preventive approach, but the truth is this has nothing to do with the FDA, right? This kind of approach has to do with your company. Number one, protecting the company, uh, making sure that the product going out is not gonna make people sick. And number two, which the FDA does, talk about, nobody talks about saving your company money, a lot of money, all right? So the FDA is all foods consumed in the U.S., imported or local through the supply chain by finding out what the risk things. This is the way they explain it, right? And, and applying appropriate food safety controls. And then they throw in the word, you know, prevention and elimination of adulterants, you know, make it a little more confusing for you. Uh, and then they're going to throw private and government off. So validation is where the rubber meets the road. You can write the plan, implement it, but if it doesn't prevent all these other outcome variables, test failures, rejected lots, customer complaints, incoming ingredient failures, et cetera, the, the plan implementation and verification are not valid. All right? So. That's a hard thing for people to learn. I think that the, uh, in the world that I come from, people learn it. Um, I teach this all over the world. The, the, the ready. There we are back at our hazards, right? We've got the big three, but then we've got other things in here. Food residue, intentional adulteration, you know, all these from the uh, FISMA, right, economically. So we're into preventive controls here. This is a ball game. We want to significantly minimize and prevent hazards in all these processes, manufacturing, processing, packing, transporting, and holding processes. Under, under verification, I know it's too late for most of you, uh, a validation, I mean, that the process design means that the process has to be validated at the design stage and at stage two when it gets into uh, operation and use continuous process verification but we're really after can discontinued process validation level, all right? Um, uh, there's Codex. See that, see that link right there? CodexElementarius.org. Okay, Codex is a free source under the World Health Organization. Okay, so, but under the rule, under CGMP, manufacturing processes must be designed and controlled to assure that in-process materials and finished product meet predetermined quality standards and do so consistently in reliability. Some kinds of outcome variables, uh, rejected lots, be, could be due to bacterial, chemical, or physical junk in them. Um, so there's just, just, just a, a bunch of problems there you might deal with. Act, uh, our ability to get a valid process under control. Okay, so obtaining and, and evaluating scientific and uh, technical evidence or conducting study to determine whether the preventive controls, when properly implemented, will effectively control the hazards. So when do you do it? According to the rules, you're supposed to be valid. You're supposed to have validated your plan within 90 days after production of the food has first begun, or and then they come back with this slop statement within a reasonable time frame. I don't know what that means, but uh, whenever you get some help. And we got another problem here in terms of how we measure. Um, uh, and, and when you do certain measurements, let's say just temperature, simple measurement, that I know right away whether it goes out of control or not. And there's just some pictures of um, you know, different equipment 
analog types of equipment versus digital, and they're using it for temperature, you know, pressure, conveyor speed, and I can, I can, you know, um, really. So we don't need to obtain and evaluate uh, scientific evidence. Here's some of the tools we're going to use. The tech checklist. I don't know if you know it. If anybody, if anybody online, smile. STS and SPC. Okay. Here's my here's my solution tracking sheet again. Here's some data. I'm going to uh, take raw chicken parts, take a sample at the end of the production line, and I'm going to test for coliforms, E. coli, Salmonella, and Campy. Okay. Look at this data. This is real data. Let's let's look at this from a little different perspective. So here here we go in the statistics, right? Here's my here's my distribution. We know it doesn't really exist. It's a lie. From my chicken sampling, I had 19, 1959 CFU per milliliters, you know, whatever it was, E. coli or salmonella. So I'm going to get to something in just a second. But let's talk about uh, uh, something very important now: process capability. I've got a, a a sorting process or a baking process. And I, I know what the average is at the thousand, and my specifications according to uh, I should never get uh, below 800, and I should never go above 1200. Okay, um, and that is you've heard maybe you've heard about Six Sigma. Look at this is here, here's your distribution that you start with, right? See that green one, and some product is beyond the lower spec, and some is beyond the upper spec. So that's a two sigma line. And it's all based on this theory. That's Chiguchi guy who is smarter than the average bear. Uh, he said, look, if, you, if your process is uh, centered and most of your product uh, comes in this area right down here, then the, the dollar loss is going to be minimal. I'll take you through planning your valid system. Here's a here is a system diagram. Uh, it's on, here's here's the here's my input controls. Water at the source. Uh, I'm going to measure monthly EPA limits, and I'm going to take I'm going to continue my spreadsheet. Who does this? Well, the team does it. So what's the idea behind teams? You know, I've been talking about teams in the SPC and the statistical, the solution tracking sheet, et cetera, and, and I didn't say anything about them before. Uh, but the idea behind a team is to create a unifying and focused cooperative approach to continuously improving both food quality and safety under a single team system, okay? Talk about teams with your company. Teams, that takes three years. No, it doesn't. Upper management must be committed. Well, that's that's the best way, uh, but the truth is, um, a lot of things, a lot of change starts at lower levels, right? And if you get one good team working, and they can show with a solution tracking sheet, you name it. So you're you're learning here. What I'm telling you here is, you got to learn to think preventively. Use your people, right? Do some planning together. Build teams know how to measure, get away from the thinking that, oh, thank God we passed our uh, food safety audit, we can all go back to bed. None of that, that food safety audit stuff that's been going on for years helped to move the industry into better food safety at some level, but it's not, and then get some training going on and get that continuous improvement thinking in. Um, I want to thank you all for attending, and uh, if you have questions, don't